Hi, today I am reading from my picture book, Boond. It has been illustrated by Ajanta Guha Thakurta and it has been published by National Book Trust. This is the story of a cute little droplet of water. Her name was Boond and her home was a cloud way up in the sky. One day, Boond went to her grandpa Meg and said, Grandpa, I want to see the world. Okay child, but you will not go alone. I'll set Shabnam along with you. Grandpa Meg, who was a huge cloud, settled just above a cheerful waterfall. Soon, Boon and her elder sister Shabnam landed in the middle of the gushing waters. They were swept down into a gurgling stream and later joined a river. This was a moment Boon had been waiting for. She looked around happily. Green grass, majestic trees, beautiful flowers and lovely ripe fruits were a real treat for sore eyes. As she merrily drifted along, Boon could see animals and birds gambling, dancing and singing along the river banks. Soon the river grew in size and gradually slowed down. The forest gave way to plains. On either side, Boon could now see houses and lots and lots of people. Suddenly, a foul smell hit her and she started feeling suffocated. What? What? What's this stink? she shouted. Look at the shore. Hundreds of men, women and children are bathing. Many more are washing clothes, vessels and dumping garbage. Will not all the dirt create a stench? As they moved ahead, Boon noticed that the water had now turned yellow and green. She also saw a strange sight. Fish seemed to be floating in water, their stomachs swollen and their eyes sightless. What's happened to the fish? She asked Shabnam in dismay. These poor fish are dead. There are many factories along the river. They discharge waste matter into the river water which kills the fish. I'm not able to breathe. Let us go back. Boone screamed. Okay, follow me, Shabnam said. The two sisters went and lay down on a boulder. The sun's rays fell directly on them. They turned into vapor and rose above. Grandpa Meek, who was on the lookout for Shabnam and Boone, took them in his arms. They condensed into a drop and droplet and were united with their family. Boone told Grandpa Meek, Grandpa, it's horrible out there. People have polluted the rivers. Animals, birds, fish, trees and plants are all dying. You have to act quickly and save them. Grandpa Meek thought for some time and then made a decision. He called all the clouds in his large family to join him and form one single huge cloud. Soon the single cloud grew larger and larger. When this cloud had occupied more than half the sky, Grandpa Meek addressed the people. You have been polluting the waters and harming the plants, birds and animals. This has to stop or you will have to pay for your sins. The people didn't bother. They continued their old ways and things went from bad to worse. Finally, one day, Grandpa Meek lost his temper and decided to teach the people of the world a lesson. He asked all the clouds in his family to stop giving rain. The waterfalls, streams, rivers, lakes, ponds and even wells all dried up. There was drought everywhere. The people realized their mistake and started repenting. The leader was a man called Aryan. He addressed Grandpa Meg with folded hands. We have learned our lesson. We will stop polluting the rivers and start protecting the environment. Please forgive us and give us another chance. Grandpa Meg forgave the people of the world 
and there was rain once rain once again gradually the streams and rivers became clean and the plants and trees lush green pretty flowers and tasty fruits started blooming and blossoming the animals on the ground birds on the trees and the fish in the seas frolicked sang and swam with gay abandon and the happiest person in the whole wide world was a cute little droplet of water called boon thank you